Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to demonstrate about failsafe functions. Autopilot has number of failsafe mechanism in order to recover the vehicle. There are three major failsafe functions. Battery failsafe, GCS failsafe and RC failsafe. Let's see how to enable this failsafe and what happens if the failsafe trigger. Loss of communication between radio transmitter and onboard receiver then the radio failsafe will trigger go to configuration and then go to full parameter list here you can see failsafe parameters in that failsafe parameters uh, that is you, you can see failsafe throttle enable parameter just enable the parameter the condition is always return to launch just write the parameter okay and uh, throttle failsafe is also called as uh, rc failsafe go to flight data tab let's do the mission go to flight plan here already i saved uh, uh, waypoint file just to open the waypoint file so here is the waypoint file i already saved so just write the parameter check flight mode loiter gps 3d fix battery voltage 24.4 sat count and rssi signal so go to action on the vehicle so it's armed right click on the map take off command 5 meters so now the copter is taking off in guided mode so altitude is 4 meters so it reached 5 meters so go to action and enter auto mode so it start flying in auto mode it's approaching towards waypoint 1 it reached altitude 10 meters now it's heading towards waypoint number 2 So it's reached waypoint number 2. Now it's heading towards waypoint number 3 at the altitude of 10 meters. Waypoint number 3. Now I am going to switch off my RC. So RC, RC is switched off. Now you can see RC failsafe is triggered and mode change to RTL. And the RTL altitude is 15 meters. So it is climbing up to 15 meters and it's approaching towards home location and it start descending 14 meters 12 meters 10 meters 7 meters 7 meters it's about to touch down It's landed safely and it's disarmed. If there is no heartbeat between GCS and drone during flight, then the GCS failsafe will trigger. Go to configuration, full parameter list. Here you can see FS failsafe parameters and you can see FS GCS. So just enable the parameter and the action taken is always return to launch. Write the parameters. Flight mode is loiter, GPS 3D fix, battery voltage 23.5 and the sat count. RSSI is good. Go to action, arm the vehicle. It's armed. Right click on the map. Take off 5 meters. So it start taking off in guided mode. Once it reached 5 meters, go to action tab and enter auto mode. So it start flying in auto mode. Copter is approaching towards waypoint 1 at 10 meters altitude. It's heading towards waypoint number 2 at 10 meters altitude. 
it reached the waypoint number 2 it's going towards waypoint number 3 so it is continue in auto mode it's approaching towards waypoint number 4 now i am going to disconnect the gcs it is not recommended according to the autopilot documentation do not disconnect during flight so i am connected back so gcs fail safe is triggered and the mode change to rtl it is approaching towards the home location so it start descending 8 meters 6 meters 4 meters it's about to touch down and it's landed safely if the voltage drops below the voltage mentioned in low voltage or critical voltage then the battery fail safe will trigger go to configuration full parameter list here you can see battery parameter so you can see battery low voltage parameter this is first level protection i am going to enter 22.8 volt is my first level protection and another one battery critical voltage 22 is my second level voltage protection so the action for 28 2.8 first level protection is return to launch and the second level protection 22 volt is land so when the drone is reached 22.8 voltage it always return to launch when it reached 22 voltage it will start landing at the same point confirm that and write the parameters come back to mode loiter battery voltage sat count and rssi so it's ready to fly go to action arm the vehicle it's armed right click on the map panel enter take off command it's taking off in guided mode now it's enter auto mode it's approaching to waypoint 1 now it's approaching towards waypoint 2 at 10 meters altitude now the battery voltage is 22.9 now it reached waypoint number 3 battery voltage is 22.88 now it's approaching towards waypoint number 4 at a 10 meter altitude battery voltage is 22.7 now the battery fail safe is triggered and the mode change to rtl it's increasing altitude to rtl altitude 15 meters and it's approaching towards home location it reached home location it's start descending altitude 10 meters Now the altitude seven meters. Three meter altitude. It's about to touch down. Now it's landed safely. If you want to fly drone continuously in auto mode, even when the RC or GCS fail safe is triggered, then do the following setup. go to configuration full parameter list here you can see fail safe open the fail safe function so 
so click on fail safe option so here you can see if you want to continue the mission in auto mode even when you lose rc enable that parameter if you want to continue mission in auto even when you lose telemetry when you lose gcs enable that parameter also and then write the parameter before that please confirm one more time and then write it check the flight mode gps battery voltage and the sat count rssi also 99 percent so it's ready to take off go to action on the vehicle it's armed right click on the map panel go to take off command so it's taking off in guided mode it reached 4 meter altitude it reached 5 meters enter auto mode now the drone is approaching towards waypoint 1 it reached waypoint 1 now it's heading towards waypoint number 2 at 10 meters altitude it reached waypoint number 2 now i am going to switch off my rc transmitter it switched off and immediately rc failsafe is triggered and the mode is still auto mode it is continue in auto mode now it's approaching towards waypoint number 5 at 10 meters altitude still in auto mode now i am going to disconnect the gcs it is not recommended to disconnect the gcs during flight now i lose complete connection let me connect it back so still the mission is running in auto mode so there is no fail safe is triggered during mission when i lose rc and also when i lose gcs so still it is flying in auto mode so let's uh, trigger rtl command let it come back so it's approaching towards home location it start descending Hey guys, we tested RC failsafe, battery failsafe and a GCS failsafe with this Pixar drone. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.